Hi there. It's uh, Art by Susan King here. Um, I'm putting this video together today uh, because uh, one of my videos has been stolen and uploaded to somebody else's channel. So I wrote everything down and I'm going to read from it because I'm, uh, I'm so angry. I'm so angry that I just, you know, I can't believe it. People would be actually do this, you know, take your work that you've worked, that you've, you know, worked hard doing, putting the video together, doing the painting and posting it. And someone just comes along, takes it from you and puts it on their own channel as their, as their work. So anyway, um, I'll tell you a story on how, what happened and how I found out. Okay. Um... So what happened is, um, it's one of my most popular videos too. Um, I did, it's a string pull and this is it. <laughs> and um, it is, um, I got the idea, I got this technique from another artist on Facebook, but I made it my own and um, it's my video. So. Um, the person in question um, put in a trademark complaint to YouTube um, about my video of that. Um, and I was told by YouTube, I was sent an email, told by YouTube that this happened and to try to resolve it with the complainant on my own. And I had 48 hours to do this. Uh, so that's what I did. I had her email and I contacted her and asked, you know, what is in my video that is the trademark dispute. So uh, she emailed me back and she just kept asking me to, she said she re-uploaded -up a video and she um, wanted me to delete mine and upload hers which is really mine she gave me a new uh, URL and um, but it was my video I didn't know this at the time I just thought it was something she was just trying to get me to put on my my thing so I thought this was very strange this is nothing to do with trademark issue or anything so I c tried to contact YouTube again to see, to tell them this and find out, you know, what's going on. Never heard back. So, um, what I did was I searched for her in her channel in YouTube and I found it. And lo and behold, my video was uploaded on her channel as her video. It wasn't in the um, liked videos or the, uh, what is it? the other thing they call um oh darn I'll think of it later uh it, it wasn't in that it was as if she, they they uploaded this video as theirs or hers so anyway I contacted her again through email and I asked her to to take um to take my video down. It's my video. She has it and to take it down. She ne never responded and I tried a couple more times to contact her and nothing. I haven't heard from her since. So then I decided to um, file a complaint myself because, yeah, because I found out that she, it was her, my video on her channel that she had and there was no trademark issue there was nothing wrong with my video I didn't have any weird stuff on there you know stuff that wasn't allowed on there other people's work other people's music that it wasn't supposed to be that wasn't allowed to, to be so anyway I uh, filed my own complaint um, about the ste person stealing my video so I just wanted to let you know um, how to do it so what you do is you uh, you sign into YouTube, you go to the help section, and you search um, in search area. You type in stolen video. That's what I did, 
and then the list will come up and what does it say here go to um, the, a list will come up and then there's a bunch of different paragraphs so you would go to the um, policy on impersonation read it and then scroll down and there's a little thing you can click on that says reporting of a channel so you click on that and then you just follow the directions um, what you'll need to uh, give them or to write in there you'll need to write in your channel name and all this information about yourself and you will need to um, uh, fill in the URL that this person has on your video and you need your own URL for your video and you need to fill that out and then send it Hi, I just wanted to show you how uh, where to go to make a complaint. Um, I know I told you, but some people would rather see it. So you log into your YouTube channel. On the left side, there's a menu, and you scroll right down to the bottom, and you'll see Help. You click on that, and then after you click on that, this pops up. Right? So I typed in Stolen Video and then enter and then click on this policy of impersonation and then under impersonation of channel you click on reporting tool and this comes up so um, not really impersonating me um, myself my name or anything is just put my video on their channel so I will I click none of these are my issues um, general help. Okay, copyright issues is what I clicked on. Then it, um, right here, um, submit a copyright complaint. And then right here, I appear in a video without permission, abuse, privacy. Someone, someone copied my creation right here. Copyright infringement. Who is affected? I am. And then you, um, I'm not going to type all this stuff in, but then you would type in you, URL of the alleged infringed video to be removed. Um, describe the work. Um, I don't know if you can add another video. I don't know. I didn't do that, but anyway, I put in the URL, and there was somewhere that it asked for my URL. Oh, maybe they didn't. They just asked for my email address. And your name, your street name, and all this kind of stuff here. And fill it all out, and then you... Um, you say, you're, you agree to all this, you type your name in the box, I'm not a robot, blah, 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 <laughs> and you submit your complaint. And they will send you an email back um, confirming you sent it, and I don't know when you're going to hear back from them. I haven't heard it. I did mine last night, and I haven't heard back yet, so anyway, that's how you fill out that form. Okay. This is very frustrating. Um... You know, so uh, the, another thing I, I wanted to tell you was how to find out, because um, I thought, well, how does somebody, um, how do you find out if, if anybody has e their video on their channel, your video on their channel? Um, and I don't, I didn't even understand how anybody can do that. So, um, I found a couple of videos that helped, um, on what to how to find out if your video is on somebody else's channel uh, I don't know uh, I don't know if there's any way you can you can um, it's my dog I don't know if there's any way uh, that you can pre prevent this to happen I wish I knew it 
Anyway, so how do you find out if somebody's using your videos? One, um, in the in your, when you're in YouTube, you can search your channel name, and then I guess then once you see all the the things come up for your channel, all your videos, uh, if there's anything in there that doesn't look right that has somebody else's name in it, so that's one way. Um, two, search your video title. Uh, you can do the same thing and search your video title. Let's see what happens. Three, um, I guess if, you, if somebody from another country is taking your video and put it on their thing, you can convert uh, the title um, into another language. Or your, actually, you can convert your um, your, your channel name or your uh, the name of your video in Google Translate you can search you can put it in there and then you can get the language that you want and then you could search that way also um, you can search for your URL you can search your video link in in YouTube and find out you know see what comes up so that's about it really uh, I don't know any more information I know there's a lot of people out there that um, have had this happen to them. Uh, one video I watched said it's happened 50 times. So each time you've got to go through all this stuff. So it's very frustrating. I'm, I'm really mad. And uh, I just hope it doesn't happen to you. And I'm going to keep watching and seeing, you know, if my video is out anywhere else and uh, try to fix it. So anyway, um, that's it for today. Um, I hope you this helped you and um, I'll see you later. Bye for now.